Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's show, we're gonna be continuing the danceplanet.tv preview for the Premier League. This week, see it go to Newcastle, week three. Um, I'm up on holiday, as many of you know, in Edinburgh, and I've got a very special guest with me today, Michael Eady. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And as always, guys, we're gonna be giving all our predictions and thoughts on each of the games. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. You're obviously darts mad, Mickey? Oh, yeah, yeah, since, uh, since about 11. Uh, fanatical. Any high averages? Uh, I've, had, I've had back to back 12s once in my life. Have you? That's about, that's about as good as it's ever got. But I play a lot of soft tip. Oh, do you? Like, yeah, when I'm down in London, that. yeah, I play, yeah, so uh, all the boys in Soho. So. Oh, it's excellent. Stuff. Oh, that's something that I've always wanted to do, and I'm sure I will do. I know that um, I was speaking to Diego Portella about it as well. Anyway, so night three sees us go to um, Newcastle. It's live from 7pm on Sky Sports. The opening game of the evening is Mencia Sulevich against Michael Smith. Mencia lost last week to Barney 7-5. Uh, Smith beat Gurney 7-4. Mensa had an average of a 102.55 and a checkout percentage of 38.46, while um, Smith had an average of 99.15 and a checkout average of 43.75. How do you see this one going, Mickey? Mensa's playing great, it's just not getting the results. And Smith's been getting the results, but not playing very good. I can't see past uh, Mensa for this. Yeah, going 7 5 Mensa. You're going 7 5 for Mensa. I think that Mensa's had a, you know, he's had a really high average. Um, in, I think he's averaging 103 for the first two weeks and obviously pointless at the moment. Um, but I think Smith's got a lot of confidence at the minute. Obviously, won one of the UK Opens um, at the weekend. Um, I think that he's going to win this one 7 5. I think it'll beat him, I really do. Next up, we see Daryl Gurney take on Gerwin Price. Daryl Gurney last week lost to Smith 7-4. He had an average day of 101.96 and a checkout percentage of just 28.57. While Gerwin Price, he lost to um, Anderson 7-3. I thought it was a great opportunity for him to win that match. He didn't. Um, he just had an average of 92.71 and a checkout percentage of 37.5. How do you see this one going? Gurney's got an awful record against Price. I think it's six one in favour of Price. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I, I was surprised when I read that as well. But I think I think Gurney's a better player, so I'm 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 thinking Gurney's going to win this one against seven five. Yeah, I'm going for I'm going for Gurney. I think Super Chin's going to um, obviously. He had drawn in the first week, lost last week. I think he's going to get some points on the board. I think he's going to beat Price 7-4. Mm. That's my prediction. Uh, next up, we see Peter Snakebite Wright against Rob Cross. Peter Snakebite Wright, as you all know, guys, is my favourite player. Had an awesome win against MVG last week, 7-5. An average of 101.04. A checkout percentage of 58.33. Rob Cross is in all sorts of problems in the Premier League uh, this year. He got uh, defeated really heavily last week against Simon Whitlock, 7-1. He only had an average of 86. 7.74 uh, and a checkout of 11.11. .11. So Cross is well out of sorts. I know that he's done well in the UK Opens um, this weekend, reaching the final, obviously losing out to Cadby and different things. But how do you see this one going, Mickey? Well, I think Rob Cross has got some momentum on the floor, but Peter Wright, after last week's performance, this is brilliant. This is going to be a pick on one. So I'm I went seven seven four right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it He's was, my favourite player too. Yeah, well, it's nice to see Ryan actually go back and get rid of a dance that he was using the previous week. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope that he stick whether he will or not. I don't know. This is his best setup. So this is what he won the UK Open with. This is exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going for a Peter Wright win as well. I'm going for Wright to beat Cross in this one seven. Five. Next up, um, we see Gary Anderson against Michael Van Gerwen. Last week, Anderson beat uh, he beat Price. He averaged uh, 99.22 and he had a checkout of 46.67. While MVG, as we know and just spoke about too, he lost right 7.5, but he had an average of 101.12 and a checkout of 58.33. Uh, Gary Anderson, um, Obviously, it was nice to see him doing a bit better with his injury and getting back to his old self. And again, won a UK Open qualifier at the weekend. MVG, though, I think is going to want revenge. What's your thoughts on this one, Mickey? I think it's going to be close. As you say, Gary did well at the weekend. Um, but, you know, you can't, you can't bet against Michael, can you? So, yeah, I'm going for Michael. You're going for him how much? Oh, 
Yeah, 7-5, 7-5, it's going to be close here. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I think that um, MVG is going to win this one as well. I think he's going to want a better, um, especially after last week. He doesn't like losing, he normally puts it right. I'm going for MGV to win this one, 7-5. Uh, the final game of the evening, we see Simon Whitlock against Raymond Van Barneveld. As we know, Simon Whitlock had an awesome win against Cross last week, 7-1. Uh, His average wasn't even high, though, to be fair to do that. It was just 93.14. His checkout was 38.89. Uh, Raymond Van Barneveld beat... Um, as we know, Sulevic 7.5. He had an average of 100.39 and a checkout of 46.67. So uh, I think this is going to be a good game. What are your thoughts on this one, Mickey? I think it's got a draw written all over it. I think it's going to be the draw of the night. Um, it's just great to see Whitlock playing close to his best, I think. Uh, big shots out. Um, he's scoring well. He's looking fluid. I draw. Yeah. I'm I'm going for a draw with this one as all. Well. I can see a draw written all over it. I'm going for six all. Um, I think it's going to be a really good night. It's a shame I did want to try and get tickets. Obviously, just being up in Edinburgh is not too far away. I wasn't able to, but um, I'm coming over Mickey's and we're going to be watching it together. We might even do a preview the next day uh, if we get a chance. Sorry, a review the next day if we get a chance. Um, thanks for being on the show today, Mickey. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, that's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did like it, please leave us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn your notifications on and subscribe. Um, until next time guys, that's it. Bye.